Neither the famous house nor its iconic owner have changed very much. Hello. Nice to see you again. How do you do? But the circumstances certainly have. This time we were here openly and lawfully. How different from 14 months ago when in darkness and in secret we broke the rules for a first interview after her release. But since then Burma's rulers have been reforming and we can talk freely now. There is a chance for real change but I don't think we can say that we've got uh, to a point when uh, there is no need anymore to worry about whether or not the government is serious about reform. I'm totally convinced that the president is serious about reform, but he doesn't represent the whole government. We would like Britain and other countries to watch the situation very carefully. After 15 years out of sight and supposedly out of mind, she's visible everywhere here. Just seven months ago, selling her picture was a jailable offence. Soon she will stand for Parliament. She's paid a heavy price for change, but doesn't dwell on that. Yes, I think one has to look forward. I've always said that the past you should look back to only for the lessons that you can learn from it, but uh, not to wallow in feelings of vengeance. Before the release of Aung San Suu Kyi, filming openly in the streets of Rangoon like this would have been unthinkable. But it now seems Burma's rulers want to advertise the changes they've instigated. And they're using the lady's profile to do that. They ended her isolation, now she's helping to end theirs. John Irvine, ITV News, okay, Rangoon.